Good day people, today I'm going to be teaching you how to add motion blur to a scanline render. Now, I don't recommend using scanline render for anything, except probably making draft renders just to show people if you're working on a project and you don't want to spend half an hour rendering a whole scene. So, as you can see, it's pretty hideous, the shadows aren't quite nice, it's just it's just not the best. I recommend using uh, Mental Ray or V-Ray, or I-Ray, depending on what you like. But, but there you go, that's the scanline render, it looks hideous as always. Uh, so, to add motion blur to this, all you want to do is select all the pieces that are going to have motion blur to them. So in this case, the wall's going to have motion blur, and the rocket's going to have uh, motion blur. So right click, and then go into Object Properties, and then go on the Motion Blur tab, Enable, and Select by Object or by Image. By Object, when you render it, it's going to render it with the motion blur and by image it's going to render it without and then it's going to render again with the motion blur. The time difference is pretty similar um, so really it's up to you. So right now I selected uh, by image so yeah I'll keep it that way. Now if you I'll go to frame like what like 8 that's fine. Next up click F10 this will bring up your menu go into render go all the way down to where it says motion blur apply and then if you want motion blur if you want 24 frames per second motion blur you can write 0.24 or if you want it to be more accurate to what movies look like write 0.48 uh, experiment how blurry you want it to be but that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go with 0.24 so once that's done you can go back to your camera or whatever and render so as you can see, I did by image, so it renders without it, and then it'll render again. So as you can see, it's saying image motion blur pass 2. And there you have it, motion blur, scanline render. That's how you do it. If you learned something, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Until then.